Hey, I'm Antonio Graceffo, Martial Arts Odyssey. I am with my very good friend Munir. And Munir and I met last year. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you just started training with Guru. That's right. Now you're the teacher and I'm the student. We're learning together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to step around and just do Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab you either here, but if you just want to do it, yeah. But like I said, in reality, a, a person's not going to cooperate. Yeah, yeah. If the arm is down like that, if the opening is here, yeah. I'm going to whack that first. Yeah, yeah. First, it may react. Then I'll grab it, then I'll come to the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever the opening is, I'll come to the face. T-Gun. I'm a pot. Lima. Now. Well, Antonio, as you know, I'm from the USA. Not far from where you're from, Philadelphia. And I've been living in Asia for about 24 years in our old home ground, stopping ground, uh, Taiwan. Taiwan. And here we are, two Northeasterners here in Malaysia learning Silat Kalam. Okay, uh-huh. Take my heart space. Bring work down. Boom. Okay. With the right hand. Yep. Yep. Okay, keep the lock here. You know, what's the lock? Ah, keep your lock. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Toss me. Now just throw me away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right. over here. Okay. I do this, right? Then boom. Okay. So tell me about your experience. What do you think about Kalam? You know, I'm 50 plus, 50 plus plus. And this is perfect for a guy like myself because I don't have to jump up in the sky. It's very efficient. And it's great for me for exercise, for health, for cardio. I mean, we're both sweating now. It's, it's a really great art form to learn. The cool thing about the climb, I mean, you can practice it without getting hurt. Any of these moves, so, man, you just put that extra... Yes, but you have to be careful. That's the most important thing with yeah. any martial arts. You can't go out there saying, I'm going to hurt my training. Man. Yeah. Safety is paramount. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, we, we did a demonstration, public demonstration yesterday, and uh, the uh, uh, organizer kept telling him, okay, Antonio, make sure you scream loudly. Antonio, make sure you scream loudly. <laughs> and then my partner, my partner goes, he said in Malay, but he said, uh, but when he screams loudly, he hits too hard. <laughs> live demonstration you guys did. I think you have another one coming up on Sunday. Wow. The third. I think you're ready for that. Uh, I don't know man, you know, you started talking about uh, being nervous. Uh, I'm in Malaysia doing a Malay art in front of a bunch of Malay people. But no, you, you're a scary natural. You learn very <laughs> no problem. Oh, thanks man. Well, I think your viewers will get a really good kick out of all this. All that you do. We'll definitely get a kick out of it. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, right? Okay, I'm around. Okay, here. Use the leverage by using the left hand on the shoulder. Okay. So maybe a big person. You pull the shoulder back. See, if I have my leg in a position where I can lock, I'm going to rotate that. Okay, and that's the typical Silat Kalam lock. Yes. This is, it's almost like the basis of probably 80% of the movement. That's correct. Right, this lock right here on the foot. You can't get out of it and it hurts. And I'm not worried about that leg over there. There's nothing much you can do with I that. I can't kick it. Yes. Now, if he's inclined to use that hand there, I can hold that down. I'm not going to worry about that one, and I can disorient him by hitting his ear. That's one of the main things we'll do, we'll hit the ear, okay. hit the person, disorient him, then you can hit the face after that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Lock it. Okay. Yeah, but you, want, you should be down as well. Already down. Okay. Yes. He would lock me, but you can't lock me now because your position is off. Okay, this is uh, bad for this throw, but what Guru teaches us, if we wind up like this, I'll still use Guru concept. Yes. I'll put my knee on yes. his knee if I can get it. Yes. Put, him, put him in an uncomfortable yes. position if I can get it. Yes. And this is a Shilat Kalam sort of lock, right? Yes. <laughs> sort of, right? <laughs> okay. yeah, because we got the shoulder, you see he's completely immobilized, and now I can pound on it. Nothing I can do. So it's not right for the throw we were practicing, but it's just concepts we learned from our Guru. It is real life. Because Look, people don't always fall the way we expect them to fall. Yeah, I know. And they should practice. They should practice more. Let's do it again. Yes. Yes. Ah. 
Yes. Okay, that's the hub. Okay, so this is typical seal at Okay, Got it locked right here. It's not using any of my energy. I got my other knee up here to sort of prevent it from doing stuff. And he's even got pretty long arms, but still, there's not a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Ah. Oh, it. Ah. It's okay. 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 Shoot. When, uh, when Guru does these, these bowler, right? Yes. It's like his bones know exactly where your nerves are. You know, we talk, Antonio, we talk about muscle memory. I think he has bone memory because his he has osseo, osseo memory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but really, for an older guy, yeah. you know, people think you have to be a young guy like you to know how to move around. But we see the older guy like him who knows how to move very efficiently, as you stated, use his bones to get things done. You see the boa and okay it looks like self-defense, you throw the guy, not too different than other self-defense, but what you don't understand is the lock is so painful in every one of these moves. Could you kneel down? Yeah, sure. Kneel down. Every one of these moves, you got like like your knee is on the guy's, you know, on his nerve here. Yes. When we're standing up, when we're standing up, we got my knee inside here. Uh, yes. I mean just that, you can you can throw a man just with that. I mean that, that would be just a very simple yes. throw right there. Half the time you get your foot in the guy's armpit. Yes. But great moving to Antonio, you get on my nerves. <laughs> One of the cool things about Martial Arts Odyssey is that people always want to know about the other martial arts I'm studying in other places. So I was telling Munir about something that happened to me the previous night at a gym in Selangor where a 103 kilo guy asked me what I would do if you put me in a full Nelson. So I was showing Munir some of the techniques that I came up with just based on all the different martial arts that I've done. I don't know exactly how they did. You have two fingers that sort of mash them together with their own fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. Yeah. Okay, so you can usually get out that way, right? Okay, so it's teaching that. And the other thing is, sometimes... Oh, go oh, down. Yeah. Just drop, yeah, go down. Yep. And sometimes you can drop, okay, and you bring your, your wings down at the same time, right? Boom, yeah. Okay, and if it, if it blocks, uh -huh. his face will be right there. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's how we're worried about. But this guy was 103 kilos, right? So none of that worked. Yep. So I went down. Yep. Okay, and I don't know if I invented this, or if this exists, but it's Oh! Oh! <laughs> nice. <laughs> I appreciate you teaching me today, and I'm just going to ask you, do you have a message from folks back home? It is something I think you've heard Prof, you know, Guru say, uh, he's our grandmaster, uh, Mazalan Man. He always says ikhlas, which means to be sincere, to be honest with people. He said, if we just have that ikhlas amongst all people, then we'll have the unity that everyone is searching for. Unity without weapons, unity from the heart. So he's thinking that people like yourself, taking Silat Kalam around the world, maybe it's a means, a, a bridge, a stepping stone for having people come closer and closer together who may not normally come that close together. So this is something we're going to leave with. Sincerity of the heart, the class. All right, man. Thank you so much for me. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode of Martial Arts Odyssey. I'm Antonio Graceffo reminding you to get in the gym, do your sets, do your reps, do your road work, and please say a prayer for the people of Burma. One, two, three, four.